Night Radio with Ashley Story on BBC Radio Scotland. Spend the night with you, just let me write and it, you dripping from my signature I feel like your body inspired my intentions, you left the squad hanging, it's only time with us You know I vibe different cause you know my mind different Her eyes say in my room, her body say in heaven, oh God Tell me what you want, I go repeat Tell me what you need, I go deep, deep in. When I fall in love, I go deep, deep in. You can copy that like it's easy yeah. You look like you need proper Come get this vitamin D power, proper Be ready to touch when I reach it, yeah I go eat it up, I know vegan, yeah I make that thing go wild I go make that thing run water I go make you sing my song There's a meeting in my bed In my bed There's a meeting in my bed In my bed There's a meeting in my bed My bed There's a meeting in my bed In my bed In my bed Such a Fifi different way. Oh, oh. Everything you need, no pop. Call me when you need top top. Oh, oh. I make that thing go wild. I go make that thing run water. I go make you sing my song. There's a meeting in my bed. In my bed. There's a from Pacific Queer. We've entered the final hour of the show. We've got lots of scores for our Hollywood swinger, Jeremy Renner. Um, Hollywood swingers, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the show, is when a Hollywood star swings into music. And we had a quite, I think, quite a good showing from the lad. He sang um, The House of the Rising Sun. And we've got from we've got some scores in for it. Um, Chris and Leanne have got in touch and says, it would have been 85, as he can clearly sing, but the auto-tune is clearly not needed. So 25 is taken off. So 60 Kenny Rogers roasters from Leanne and Chris who say great show as always. Thank you so much, friend. Um, we've also got other scores. Kate and Sunny Oban says 100 Kenny Rogers roasters from her because she's in a good mood and he was good. Finley says, all right, for a wee song, 70 Kenny Rogers roasters. Lad did okay. Oh, thank you so much, Finley. Um, Craig and Sharon say a decent 66 Kenny Rogers roasters from us to Jeremy's voice but bad song choice as no one is going to top the animals version on the subject of luck can you wish us good luck with our trip to see our grandson Freddie and meet our granddaughter Peyton for the first time in Perth Australia next week Craig and Sharon I am wishing you all the best on that 
journey across to Australia to visit your family, get lots of sleep on the aeroplane, drink lots of water, keep hydrated. Um, I, I've flown to Adelaide. I think I was on Qantas. Other airlines are available. But Qantas staff are kind of cheeky when I was having a wee nap. The chance you have with a Qantas flight is that John Travolta might be flying it. What? Why? Because he flies Qantas planes. No, he doesn't. John Tron is a pilot for Qantas. Absolute weird. Okay, so I'm on a flight to Adelaide. I fall asleep and then I just feel somebody putting something on my head and I wake up and the air steward had been balancing gift bags on my forehead while I was asleep. So, okay, John Travolta donates his Boeing to 707 to Qantas. It doesn't say that he was a pilot for Qantas, Paul. Why does John Travolta have a Qantas Because he, he like, flew with them to, like, you know, you have to do your hours to be getting your, like, Boeing 747 license. So yeah. he flew commercial planes. Seriously? As a, yeah, because that's how you get your hours in. Now, wasn't that also his character in Look Who's Talking? <laughs> Was he not, like, a guy who really wants to be a pilot? He used to yell and I love you. Oh, kids talking. Rest in peace, Kirsty Allen. I love yeah, her. Yeah, but it was more like it was more like private planes in that film. Okay, well, there's something really. Josh Siegel always creeped me out after that movie. The guy who played Kirsty Alley's love interest. The guy who's actually the dad. Yeah, but it's like an old man. Yeah, he is super creepy though in that film. Mm-hmm. Um, Look who's talking is a massively creepy film. I I also thought that was real. The the bit at the beginning with the sperm and eggs. I didn't know how they'd filmed it, and I was really fascinated by how they'd managed to make it happen, but I thought that was like a tiny camera had gone inside people's bodies. To that. Like, who's talking was a super weird film. I don't think it's... It's one of those ones, you know, when people go, you couldn't make that nowadays. I feel like, look, who's talking falls into that category of you couldn't make it nowadays, but not because it's, like, not woke or whatever, but just because it freaked a lot of children out and it was super weird. I don't know. It feels like more the kind of thing they would make now, but it would be some sort of, like, American horror story type horror (laughs) film. (laughs) Three men and a baby. You couldn't make that now. Well, he was in drug... There was drug deals and everything in it. Mainly because that film is about three men who just take a child without calling CPS and um, a bunch of drug dealers try and steal the baby back because they get confused between a baby and heroin, which is a really strange thing to get mixed up. But yeah. Isn't also, it so cute and you're like, no, he's involved in dodgy drug deals? That film couldn't be made now because there's no such thing as an architect and it's just a made-up job that Hollywood invented because all the buildings have already been built and I just don't believe believe that there are people who do that now there are they're not there are buildings being built every day yeah and they're just like big squares or big rectangles somebody still has to do all the maths do you can just do it in the sims i'm pretty sure people just go in the sims build a building and then print it and then to be fair i'm pretty sure that's what architects did they just moved it onto a computer that's not yeah but like you look at his drawings um, and it's when we start getting AI to do architecture. Yes, then. And then it starts mixing it in with other things. You made a typo, and all of a sudden you've got houses with the faces of celebrities inside I, the building. I want that <laughs> on the outside. I don't know. Okay. It's AI generated. Right. Never mind everything else. Seaside towns in Britain that are failing, right? Because mm-hmm. we're not going and visiting like Rothsay and stuff. You give people grants to print massive pictures of celebrities on the fronts of their buildings. So instead of like Balamori, because Balamori and the, wherever they made Balamori got a lot of attention just because they painted some houses pink and red and Boring. Yellow. Boring. Print giant pictures of Does celebrities. Does it have to be celebrity faces yes. or could you pay no, more no. money to get your own? No, no. Big giant. Because nobody's going to want to go to Rothsay to see Stephen's face on the front of a building. Mm. But they're going to go to Rothsay to see a giant Jack Nicholson face on the front of a building and get their pictures. But is that not just, it? are you not just describing Belfast? <laughs> is there a picture of Jack Nicholson in Belfast? No, but there's pictures, big pictures on the side no, of buildings. No, those are murals. They're painted. They have meaning and significance. These are just giant photocopied pictures. Perfect representations of Jack Nicholson. Of celebrities' heads, right? In seaside towns. And then you'd maybe have a list of 300, right? And you could be encouraged to go to different seaside towns to catch them all, like Pokemon. And get your picture taken or take a picture from afar on the ferry of, like, your giant celebrity head towns. Oh, I think this is I think this is a winner. I think this show is 
<laughs> if you work for Visit Scotland, get in touch to pot, via text. Please don't. 80295. Don't use any of our means of communication. This. Uh, th- you can email me, ashleystoryshow at bbc.co.uk. No, you won't, because I'm going to shut it down. That we just <laughs> Nobody can contact us about this idea. Giant celebrity head seaside town hunt. Hashtag. No, it's what you went too far. It's going to be great. <laughs> You've taken this show, you've smashed it all up. <laughs> now I have to pick up the pieces. Here's the average white band. <laughs> <laughs>